Hi. In this uh, first presentation addressing data level parallelism, we will look into uh, vector and SIMD architectures. Uh, please notice that once again we will be following uh, Patterson and Hennessy's computer organization and design instead of the other book. Uh, after watching this presentation and completing the learning task proposed at the end, you should be able to explain the concept of data level parallelism to uh, relate it to the classic four main categories of parallel hardware and finally to explain what are vector architectures. This uh, categorization of parallel hardware based on the number of instruction streams and the number of data streams was proposed in the 1960s but is still in use today. A uh, conventional uniprocessor has a single instruction stream and a single data stream and that's the uh, SISD case on the top left of this representation of which the uh, Pentium 4 is a, a well-known example. On the other hand, uh, the, a conventional multiprocessor has multiple instruction streams and multiple data streams and that's the MIMD case on the bottom right, uh, of which the Intel Core i7 is an example. Uh, the other relevant combination represented in this table is uh, SIMD, where a single instruction might add uh, 64 numbers in a single clock cycle by sending uh, 64 data streams to 64 ALUs, for example. From a programmer's perspective, SIMD architectures are similar to SISD since all the parallel execution units are synchronized and they all respond to a single instruction that emanates from a single program counter. Although every unit will be executing the same instruction, each execution unit has its own address registers and so each unit can have different data addresses. This is also equivalent to say that SIMD works best when handling a, a great deal of identically structured data which is called uh, data level parallelism. Vector architectures fall into the SIMD category and are a um, great match to problems with lots of data level parallelism. Uh, vector architectures uh, use a large set of data registers to hold data collected from memory and to uh, operate on them uh, sequentially using pipelined execution units. The uh, uh, parallel semantics of a vector instruction allows uh, an implementation to execute operations using a, a deeply pipelined functional unit, an array of parallel functional units or a combination of both. Uh, since vector arithmetic instructions use, usually only allow uh, element n of one vector register to take part in operations with the equivalent element from other vector registers, we can use uh, multiple parallel vector lanes to build a, a highly parallel vector unit. Uh, this slide shows how multiple uh, functional units can be used to improve the performance of a uh, single vector add instruction. In this case, the uh, vector processor on the right has four lanes and uh, thus it can complete uh, four additions per cycle. Well, uh, I'd like to conclude this presentation by uh, inviting you to read a short section called Comparing Vector to Conventional Code, uh, which is presented on uh, pages 511 to 512 of the uh, book referred earlier. Thanks very much for your attention.